Hi, I'm Lee Cottrell from Pittsburgh Technical College, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use routing using a basic ASP Razor page in Visual Studio 2019. I have a basic Razor page set up that I use using the new project wizard, and I don't have any MVC in this. When it pops up, the default wizard gives me home and privacy. But I have added to this project. I have added a sales folder with the products and I've added a, a new page. As soon as you add these to your project, the route automatically picks it up. So new page works. And you see with the URL I put in there to simply slash in the name of the page. And And I can do sales slash products, and it automatically works. So you don't have to do anything to have Visual Studio pick this up. Once you have this add razor pages and this use routing, those make the links automatically work. So you have to, whenever you're setting these up, manually enter in the URLs you want. And you do that in, in layouts. You recognize this bootstrap menu. Just put links in that you want. And for one that's in the sales folder, just put the path. And now you've manually entered these URLs in here. And now they'll be up across your menu bar and they'll work. Assuming you typed everything correctly. Awesome. All right. Now, however, we're going to do a typical products lookup. Let's pretend that I have three products. I'm going to have a computer, a laptop, and a tablet. That's what I sell. In order to handle this, one way to pull this off the Razor pages is to go to the page behind. What I'm going to end up eventually doing when I run this thing is I'm going to pass in the URL. I'll put a slash one there. And that's going to pull up product number one for me. If I had two products, three products, I'd mainly create these pages. But if I was a real store and I have 3,000 products, I don't want to create this by hand. So I'm going to allow CSS, oh, I'm sorry, not CSS, C Sharp and ASP to handle this as a route parameter. So I'm going to start on. their products page and modify this at page. What I'm doing is I'm passing in a route parameter. This is very complicated. There's a lot of stuff that can be done here. I'm just simplifying it. Um, the Your book, um, ASP.NET Core Net in Action, by Andrew Locke does a very nice job describing more of this. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an integer variable called ID. I'm going to put that behind my code. So I'm going to go to the code behind. Then I'm going to create a simple model here. Public int ID, this is going to map to that ID that I'm passing in. On get is called whenever you do an HTTP get process for this. I want to respond with an ID. So I'm now passing in an ID here. I'm, ac I'm accessing it. 
this ID is now available on my main page also behind here I'm going to create a simple model just an array zero one two of course I'm going to run this now product is angry but when I put it in mainly and do a slash one at the end of it it pulls up I now need to handle this slash one I have the mechanisms here this int id actually gathers that parameter passed in it's stored now in my public variable id which now means I can go back to my products page and use it and a very simple way to pull it off I'm going to use the model variable which is built into these razor pages I'll pull out the products array and pass in the model ID model of course comes from my razor page CL slash products slash one laptop zero computer boom error so we need to pick that up easy way to pick that up is to go through My error page so get rid of all this like product not found And then change this to properties. Stop the program. And instead of using development, use production. And this should pick that up. one still works let's try 100 boom product not found outstanding okay so we have um, handled some basic routing we've passed in a parameter in through the route to create a dynamic set of of urls and we've handled a simple error at the customer level or the production level um, lots more can be done with this again the book by Andrew Locke walks you through creating default parameters and a variety of other tasks um, good luck to you